guys. First of all, I have to say that I know that I haven't really posted this week, and um, on the only video I posted was a what's in my bag video, which is not really book related. But um, I just wanted to say that it's been a really hard week for me. Um, we had a death in our family, and it was really hard. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that what's been going on. And I'm sorry that I've been really like emo on Twitter, but to be honest, I I just. It hit me really hard, a lot harder than I thought that it would hit me. But I don't want to discuss it on this channel, really. Um, if you're interested in knowing what happened, it's on Twitter, and I think it's also on, um, it's on Twitter and also on Instagram. So, finally today, I was feeling a lot better, and I said, you know what, I feel like filming, so I'm going to film a video. So here we are, filming my August wrap-up and September TBR. August was actually a really good reading month for me. I got through six books, which is a lot more than what I usually get through. I usually read two or three books a month, and six books was a lot for me. Two of those, I don't have the physical copies. I read them on my phone, and one of them is Alexandra Brecken's In Time, which I rated four out of five stars. And the other one is um, the first volume of the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman, and I rated that three out of five stars. In August, I started off by finishing a reread, a reread which I reread every year almost, and that is uh, Narraciones Extraordinarias by Edgar Allan Poe, and it translates to um, Extraordinary Tales by Edgar Allan Poe, and I rate this obviously a 5 out of 5. I reread it all the time, and I really, really love all of them. Even though my favorite Edgar Allan Poe story is not here, that would have to go to William Wilson, but out of this um, little compilation. I really like The Pit and The Pendulum. The next book I read was The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens, and I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really loved it. I read on Goodreads. Some people think that this book is not original, but to be honest, I haven't read an original book since I read 1984, and that was a copy of something else. So I gave this a 4 out of 5. Totally pick it up if you are looking for a cool middle grade read. The next book I finished is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I liked this book. It was a good book, and if you're interested to know my full thoughts on it, um, I have a review up. You can click down here, and it will take you straight to the review. And the final physical book I read during the month of August was The Monster Monologist by Rick Yancey, and this basically has bumped down The Darkest Minds from my favorite YA series of the year. So I loved it, 5 out of 5 stars, and I would definitely reread it again, and I was actually thinking of rereading it this month, but we'll see. So those are all the books I read in August, now let's get to my September TBR. For September, I only picked three books for my TBR because one of them is really big, and first of all, I usually just, you know, read three books a month or something along those lines, but when, I'm, when I have a really big book, it seems ridiculous to add more than two or three books. So let's get right to it. The first book I plan on reading in September is Inheritance by um, Christopher Paolini, and this is the final chapter of the Aragorn series. And um, so far, I really love the series, and then I got to the third book, and I almost didn't want to read this one because the third book was really bad. But um, I want to get it done, and I really want to know what happens. I love the characters so... I'm going to read this. This is 800 pages. It's a chunk of a book. So I think I'm going to spend most of my month trying to finish this sucker up. The next book I plan to finish in September would be Carrie by Stephen King. And I don't know if you will be able to tell, but I am right around halfway. That's my bookmark. I'm right around about halfway. I'm not really, really enjoying this. Um... It's fine, I mean, it's fine. I don't know if I'm going to finish this next because it's just been such a pain in the butt. I tried to start this, but I don't know, I am not. <laughs> next up, I have a book that I've been starting and putting down with it's Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End, because I always say it wrong, I always say it's Childhood End, but whatever. Um, it's not bad, it's actually entertaining, but I don't know, I just keep putting it down. I'm not really in a sci-fi mood right now, which is weird, but it's the truth. So, those are the physical books I plan on reading in September. I've actually already finished two mangas, and um, I've never done this before, but I will say this now. If you are under 18 years old, I do not recommend the manga that I'm about to mention, or the anime. I know that a lot of you are going to be like, I'm under 18, and I watch it, and I 